Hello, it's Dr. Alex Popovich and welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about airmail email client and why I have been using it lately. I will talk about things that I like or possibly not don't like as much or that I think they should improve. Anyway, let's dive in. This is um, email app and their website. And uh, here, uh, as you can see, they talk about it being a lightning fast mail client. Um, I have to say it's actually not that fast. And I'm not 100% sure whether that depends on my Google or Gmail addresses that I run from, or is it truly the email issue? But it's not that fast uh, to sync things. In the latest update, they've also gotten rid of some uh, undo send on a Mac, and it's not that easy anymore to undo this. Um, but anyway, so this is their website, and it's very clean design of the website. And they talk about a lot of getting the uh, Mac awards. So ML can be used on Mac OS, iPad OS, and iOS, and a little bit on a watch. I have been using it on my iPhone because I need as a doctor to use my email on a go and send things that I need to out of my pretty much pocket. So I do use that a lot. Uh, I use it a little bit on my iPad, but I do use it mostly at home on my MacBook Pro because I prefer to use it on a bigger screen. Let's talk about the pricing. It's actually for an email client not a very expensive option. It's $2.99 monthly or $9.99 yearly and that gives you access to all iOS, iPadOS as well as Mac OS systems. This is how I lose it and what it looks like on my setup. It's relatively cleanish interface. It's not as simple interface as uh, Newton email or as a Tempo email client. And um, to be honest, I probably prefer a bit more um, the cleanness of those other two applications. So here in Assistant Preferences, you can set up a lot of different information um, for different email addresses for um, and also for iOS versus Mac OS system. It's very easy to input any different types of email addresses you have. Gmail, um, Exchange, Outlook, uh, Apple Mail, anything. And you can do a specific um, custom design for each emails and what you wanted uh, to do uh, with this. Uh, in your general stuff, this is where you can set up your language, whether or not you want to use unified inbox or you want to have all inboxes separately. I tend to prefer to use unified inbox. Uh, and this is also different things you want to set up uh, when you're sending or uh, when you're composing your emails. Um, and as I said, it's probably the most customizable um, email client that I have seen. This is where you set up your snooze button. I use a snooze button a lot, but some people don't. So you can set up what later today means, what tomorrow, uh, this evening, this weekend, and the fall time are. And then you can also set up your stuff that you can do on a Mac OS. You can use swipes. Um, you can use swipe services for iPad and uh, I, uh, iOS. You can connect quite a lot of your um, um, either storage areas or Todoist or Trello's or OmniFocus as well and then set up the privacy mode. So in the privacy mode you will basically um, the email people or company will not see anything everything is done through your device 
and also you can use the block tracking pixels and that's one of the things I really like about this email client that you can actually be a little bit more safer or private while using these email um, clients. I don't tend to use the smart inbox um, but you can um, and as I said you can customize what you see up here quite a lot. Here, for example, you can automatically unsubscribe directly from your email client. You don't need to go onto your um, onto the website and do it through there and get distracted by being on Safari or um, any other uh, uh, web class. And then you can also directly from here then either reply, reply all, or forward from the from the email client. Or if you want, you can open you can open it in a different uh, uh, area of different window. I tend to do it straight away from here, for example. So um, I might reply. And then here you can decide as well whether you want to discard this reply, send an archive, which I use a lot, so the email just disappears out of your inbox, or send it as well. If you need to change something, you just open it here and you can then add CC or BCC or reply to as well. Uh, you, from this area, you can see again, send and send an archive. But here you get some more options. Um, this option this option here is whether you want to use no signature in default. I don't tend to use signatures. I have different uh, signature in the text expander and use them that way. And that way I can customize it per each uh, email rather than per uh, email address I have. In this area here, you can actually create templates directly in the email. And so for certain things that you reply often, you can do that here as well. As I said, I tend to use Text Expander for this. If you send someone an email and you want to send a reminder um, for yourself um, that you need to hear about this email again, this is where you do this. So you click here and you choose when you want to have this reminder set up. So when this happens, as you will get this email back in your inbox together with your reply uh, to remind you that uh, um, you haven't heard anything from it. Here is a send later button. So you can customize, for example, that you can send later an email. I really like this option in every email client that I use because I often answer emails over the weekend and especially if they're business ones or if they are um, related to hospital, I don't want my manager to get there and then my email is somewhere 100 or 150 down the line and she never or he never gets it. Uh, so I tend to put them to send later to Monday morning, let's say 7.45 or 8 a.m. So when they go to work, my email is towards the top of their inbox. Here is where you can attach things and what your sizes you want to do, but I tend to just drop and drag, to be honest, and it applies for this as well. Here I am on my iOS device, and here you can see um, that the interface is very similar to the, way, the one on macOS. If you want to go to all your inboxes and check them, um, you just do it there. To refresh, you just draw the screen down. To write a new email, uh, you just do it uh, through that area. Um, and uh, this is the customizable bit where you can different swipe. So one long one for me is trash. Then the next one is action list and then seem to do it. So I can do three different left sided swipes and then um, from left to right, I can do the same. Move to snooze and I don't use that many on the second one. Um, and uh, here you can customize it even further where you can decide what you're going to do. So whether you're going to have a privacy mode, you can just click it here. Um, what themes 
you're going to have. And you can see that you can customize it really, really well. So here is this area is what you do with the swipes um, and the uh, actions, what you can see on your screens and what you want to have as an option in your emails. What I like about this is uh, you can create directly the a PDF out of the email. Um, it's a nice um, option to have. If you want to use things from your iPad, you get very similar view. I tend to use it in this orientation uh, where you can just get all of the preferences here. And this is where you set up just your stuff often for an iPad. It doesn't necessarily mean that your iOS is going to look exactly the same. In conclusion, I actually quite enjoy working with uh, AML. It, it is not the cleanest application when it comes to the interface, but I do like the options of snooze, reminders, and send later. And as I said, I really enjoy the privacy mode. All of these are very similar on the iPhone and iPad. It is very easy to use it, but what I can gather is when you get to refresh your inbox, it just takes a while. So I would wish for this application to become a bit faster. The other thing it uh, does do is it has very large amount of options through shortcuts. So I can use shortcuts to send emails and tasks and automate some of my processes. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to get these videos directly to your inbox, please subscribe by pushing the button below. Bye for now.